Hey, what's up, gang? So today's the day. Today is the finally the day. We're going to go get tuned. Now, this ain't going to be the high boost map. This ain't going to be the crazy monkey tune. This is going to be more a conservative tune for this, this moment because I'm not on the E85 yet. I still need to do a couple things to the car to really go crazy. Plus, my brakes are iffy. So hopefully get the brakes bled again and figure it out. But right now, we're going to go. We're going to get a base map. And we're going to install our S300. So this is V3. I have the boost by gear inside of this. We got our four port Mac valve. This is our boost solenoid electric boost controller. And then we also have our four bar map sensor from K-Tune. And then we have our thousand CC injectors from Grams. These are actually K-Series injectors. And you can go on K-Tune. I bought these off K-Tune. These are the adapters. And then I bought OBD one clips for them because they're OBD two. And then I also got some new headlights we're gonna install. Gotta hook up the GoPro. Gotta get some tools. But this bad boy already needs to jump because you know how these Hondas already sit so I'm gonna jump the car and we're just gonna go to Joel we're gonna get it in and I know I got my glasses on but I got sensitive eyes especially in the morning because it is 8 30 in the morning right now so I'm not much of a morning guy <laughs> so let's go do this because I know you guys have been waiting because I've been ready to finally hit boost so I come in here and where you get the car started and look all oh, this is wet and I see a little bit of rust there I, I never took this carpet out I hope and pray to God that this car isn't rusting through the floor or something I have no idea why it's wet there it's not wet anywhere else man that's that project car stuff for you guys next car definitely has got to be a lot cleaner but what I think I'm going to do is I might rip the carpet out like after Joel's I might just take out all this carpet assess the damage and I think I want to rip out the headliner because it's just been hanging i still have to put that harness through the trunk and get my brake light ran i mean i definitely have some holes in the car from uh certain things that might be leaking but definitely i'm trying to put, get rid of that because it looks janky so yeah i might be ripping the carpet out i think it's time to gut a lot of this car out and make it more race car so yep damn that makes me mad but all right let's get going All right, guys, so we're here at Joel's, and uh, here we're ready to finally do something with this thing, man. I am so excited, so I hope you guys are too. Get something finally done on this junk box. Nice little DA, little boosty boy. And you got a hatch here too. That's how he does it. <laughs> that right there, right? Yeah, bro, well, that's why I was about to say, if you got some better zip ties, bro. <laughs> better vacuum line, not all, not all big like the one I had. That was like that eBay uh, vacuum lines they give you, that, that junk stuff. My boy Joel is going to solder the Hyundai in there, so your boy K Power will be strizzy. Hyundai? Oh, yeah. All right, and we are good. Oh, 
That's it. That's why the Project Integra's next manifold. Oh, that's it. Three fifty for that. Oh, yo, that is bad. That thing is clean. What? Y'all got that in the race car? Mm -hmm, that's it. On the car. I like that. Yo, I like that a lot. Dog. You about to have me be like, hey, Joe, man. I bought that. I bought that manifold, man. I'm telling you. Exactly what's on the car. Oh, shit is hard. Look at that shit, guys. Comment down below if I should get this manifold. Got the Undata rocking. And look, we LS boys out here. Boost the LS. Boost it, LS. Oh. I know it does. It's better. It, you know it, what I'm saying? It, it does run good. Dude, those things are sketchy, bro. That was the bad one, though. Uh, I, I mean, I did buy, I did buy a used, but a uh, dude only had it for like a week. He said, and he took it off. He parted his car out. So, it, it could be, it could be bad. So we got a bad map sensor. Look at the OEM one, and then look at this one. I'm sure, you guys can see it. It's all cracked and bent. And of course, it was the K2 one I got. K junk. Oh well. Here, Joel, you can have it, man. It's a, it's a treat. It's a treat for you, Joel. All right, so the map sensor was bad, so put the stock boy in, but we should be able to do 10 pounds on the stocky. We're not going for nothing crazy at this moment anyway. All right, go for it. Start it. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I'm not in gear. <laughs> she didn't even go kick, kick. She just said boop. Yeah. Yeah, Joe. All right, well, we you see what we did, guys. So, yep, I'm about to go hit like a baby pull because we can only rev for so high. Oh, and... All right. I'm so excited to hit the first pull, guys. Oh, Joe, don't fail me now, baby. The rev limiter is set at like 5,000. All right, guys, just so an update. So it's not rusted through. It definitely was starting to get there, or it could get there, but this is just a sound detonation. So we are good. My floor isn't rusted out, thank God. God, because even Joel seen the water and was like, you should check it. And this is what I meant by my tires being super sticky. Look at all that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at those pebbles. Anyway. So I think I'm going to pull the carpet out. Yeah, I think I'm just going to rip the carpet out. I hate to do it, but I'll shave some weight. I'll get the sound detonation out. Plus it's wet, so I want to dry everything off. Make sure everything's good and clean, so car drives great I still can't rev past 5,000 but only because it has a uh, pretty much a safety feature just so I don't over rev because I don't have fly band so he doesn't know exactly where my air fuel ratio is now is it at a very good spot yeah it sounds damn near dead on but to be safe he put boost cut there so is what it is I'm gonna remove the carpet I'll probably time-lapse that and
hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm finally happy that the car has made some real progress. Like I said, this week or next week, we will get the dry ice. We'll take off the sound detonation. We're going to paint the inside of this white. And I will be getting a wide band, going back to Joel, getting tuned on whatever gait is, probably like 10 or 11 pounds, be able to go through the RPMs, get a good feel, and then I will be buying E85, and we will be going with the 4-bar map sensor, a couple little things I need, like spark plugs and stuff, and we will be going for about 20 to 22 pounds, so it's going to be fun, guys. About 400 horsepower is what we're trying to go for, so... Let's have some fun, but until next time, guys, peace!